What's up guys, Anubhav here and I think we can all take a moment and accept the fact that Android is amazing on its own. But then again, if you watch till the end of this video, you'll find a few tips and tricks that'll make your whole enthusiasm about Android a tad bit higher. With that being said, hit that thumbs up button and let's get started. I'm so in love with you. Alright, the first thing we're going to be talking about is customization. Now we all have heard about wallpapers and live wallpapers as well as launchers and all of those things. But here is a home screen replacement solution which is a live wallpaper. I've already talked about this in a previous video of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is KLWP or custom live wallpaper. And essentially this is a live wallpaper that changes your entire home screen. It's essentially, you can think of it as a launcher inside a wallpaper. So once you download this from the Play Store, you can download separate presets from it just like you would download Super Widget Skins and then apply it with a single click and you can have some of the most badass looking home screen setups I have ever seen. I mean, just check this home screen out. I know, right? Definitely check this one out. Alright, the second thing we're going to be talking about is fingerprint gestures. Now, these days most devices come with a fingerprint sensor and you can do more than just unlocking your device with it. Once you download this app, links in the description below, you can configure to do anything with your fingerprint. So, for example, right now I'm going to set it to go home and once you grant the accessibility settings, every time you tap on your fingerprint sensor, it is going to do the specified action, for example, going home. It's a really neat little trick or cake that you can use when you're on your Android and you just want to customize it depending on your own and all the more reason for buying a phone with a fingerprint sensor in case you don't have one already. So definitely check this one out once again links will be in the description. Alright how about waking your Android device by just picking it up or say swiping your hand over the proximity sensor. Cool I know right? Well it's possible and this app is called Smart Wake. Once you download it up, just turn it on, grant the permissions and you can select different methods such as air control or rise to wake from your pocket and all of those things. It's pretty simple, pretty cool. You just need to switch it on and turn it off depending upon your choice. It doesn't hinder with anything else and does what it says. So once again, a cool little nifty trick that you can use and well, it's free. Alright, how cool would it be if you would just plug in your headphones or any media streaming device and your choice of music application would just open up without you having to do anything? That would be pretty insane. Well, this application is called Conscient and essentially it automates by adding different commands to your Android device. So right now I've added a command that headphones plugged in opens my choice of music application that is Savan. Once you create on the plus button, you can create a fence where you select what you have to do in order to trigger a certain action. And also once you've selected what you have to do, for example, let's select walking here. So whenever we are walking, I want to open a certain app or a certain shortcut. So Anytime your phone detects any type of movement, it's going to open that application up. For example, let's select Chrome here. A pretty nifty app to then again remove and wirelessly automate your Android device with you having to do minimal work. Definitely check this one out. Alright, the next one is for all you AMOLED screens users out there. This is Pixel Filter. So not only does this reduce the brightness below the minimum brightness level for those times when you're using your phone at night, but it also turns off certain pixels or the pixels in your screen. I mean, who needs a Quad HD display? Like, that's a bit overkill and a bit heavy on the battery as well. No compromises in picture quality, it essentially dims down your display by turning off some pixels out of every 4 or 5, you can configure that. And it saves battery as well as reduces your brightness level, definitely check this one out. So you've already been through a situation when you want to copy a certain text through a certain app but you just can't, I mean, it, the text copier would just not open up. Well, this app called Universal Copy lets you copy text basically from a place anywhere where it has text. Simply select it from your notification bar, click on the text and just copy it. You can also do a couple of other things such as edit the text that you're copying. So all you have to do is enable the app, it's gonna appear on your notifications, click on it then click on the pencil icon. From here you can select the different parts that you want to copy or a certain section and it's gonna be copied. It works in places where definitely like it works in e every place where the text uh, field is present so you know you can literally copy the names of the apps in your app drawer and whatnot so definitely check this one out so shortcuts are useful keyboard shortcuts are 
more useful. So essentially, this app called TextPand allows you to create shortcuts for short phrases. So essentially, you add a shortcut such as for me, I'm going to add my YouTube URL and then you add the phrase that is supposed to expand. So every time you enter the text field or the shortcut word, a check mark appears when you click on that, it expands your total text. It saves time while texting people, also while key giving generic replies like how are you or I'm doing good, what about you or thank you and all of that. You can just create shortcuts and just you know waste your time i mean save your time so pretty good app check it out so we've already faced with the situation when our phone gets lost or we can't really find it google device manager is probably one of the greatest applications in this case Opening it up, it shows you all the devices that your div uh, Gmail account has logged in with. You can also see its real-time location in the map. You can either ring the device, lock the device or completely erase it in case it has been stolen and you have no choices of get it back. Your information is completely safe or if you've just lost it, you can click on the ring icon. It's going to ring in full volume for 10 or 15 minutes and you can find it then. A must-have if your Android device is lost or you just don't know where your phones are. Yeah, check it out. Next up, we have uh, this. This is called Pi Control. So say your on-screen navigation bars are not working and say your hardware buttons are not working as well in case you're using a OnePlus device. Well, this app called Unique Controls adds a Halo settings as well as a Pi setting where essentially you get your navigation icons in a place like this. You can select the position, the width, wherever you want to trigger it from. And all in all, it's extremely useful when you don't have your hardware keys or your hardware keys are spoiled or something like that and you still want to use your android device also these things require root generally but this app does not so it's pretty cool once again links will be in the description check this one out it should be a lifesaver for most people all right so the most important trick and the most amazing one is uh just uh open your phone and go to the power button which you use to turn turn it on or off just click on it once and then keep the phone yes it's a beautiful world out there, guys. Android phones or phones in general is not everything. Check the other world out. Don't fiddle with your phone all the time. It's not good for us, not good for the people surrounding us. So make sure to spend quality time with your friends as well as your relatives instead of being hooked to your phone all the time. And that is pretty much it. This is the Android Guru signing out. Hope you guys like this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.